Here is a small sample of the numerous pictures we need to take every year in order to get just one good pose from the boy. So can he sit still and give good review for Happy Healthy Wife? Let's start from the beginning. So what do you think, Daddy? Really good. Mm. Mm. Do you want this? What do you think, Daddy? Good. Amazing. Also, it's amazing because Daddy cooked it. It's really good. The soup is very soft. Soft texture. He blended in all the vegetables so nicely. Perfect for staying healthy. Mm. Meat is really juicy and good. Mm. It has not burned together very well. It tastes much better without the olives. Mm. It's very similar to what's at Costco. If I don't like it, what do I say? <laughs> mm. The flavor is very interesting with the salsa and the sour cream. And it's better than a salsa you could buy at Costco. It's cream cheese. Mm. These fries are like super crispy. Oh, they're better than other fries that we cook without the air fryer, but I still think restaurant fries from like In-N-Out and McDonald's are better. I'm just gonna eat it. Hmm? Here the crunch. <laughs> that one was way too crispy, it's just bad. Here we go. Mm. Mm. How is it? Good. Mm -hmm. Is it crunchy? Depends on the fry. I like these guys are very crunchy. They're very crunchy. I don't trim this, but after they're... I don't see more rough or closer hard. I was like, this is just mainly soft. Go for it. The tomato flavor makes the soup taste good, but this finish does not. Mm -hmm. The addition of the Bobby Flay cheese makes the bacon barbecue burger taste much better. The egg, sausage, and cheese blend together to make it like a breakfast burrito. Better than Taco Bell's. Well, the seasoning, the seasoning and the flavor from the beef really covers the bad broccoli taste to make it better. The flavor of the cheese and the tomato mixed with the crispy chicken makes this chicken parmesan one of the best chickens I've ever had.
So he had to come and drop the food off for Teddy because he is playing for the junior high schoolers that are coming to his school today. I mean, the acidity of the tomato and the combination of that and the rice really has no flavor. It really compliments the chicken and how it makes the chicken taste better than it already is. The flavor of the marinade is covered with all the spinach and artichoke, which is the bad stuff, so it tastes good. Alright, interesting how the salt and pepper not only eliminate the taste of the broccoli, but also give the keep the added flavor to the chicken to make this chicken taste really good. This bell pepper sauce really doesn't add much flavor to the chicken, it just makes it more sour if anything. The honey pie crust is really like crispy and gives you flavor, but the fish is also really oily. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have as much flavor as the pan fried fish, but sad, but it the good part about it is that it doesn't have as much oil as the pan fried fish either. The pan fried fish is much crispier than the air fried fish. Two bites is worse than one. Not as bad as I thought it was. I mean, the eggplant is very well covered by the tomato because the tomato pretty much covers everything. So this whole thing basically tastes like a giant tomato. I tried it again. Let's see. Not not tasting like tofu right there. This is bad. I am done trying this dish. It's like I'm eating healthy. It just tastes like a bad tasting salad. It's interesting how it's the chicken itself really isn't that flavorful and the skin pretty much saves everything. All these are really good. I can even taste the meat. It's still not nearly as good as pot stickers because pot stickers have a much better crunchy texture and these ones just like boil down with water basically. <laughs> I really like this taco is how the lettuce seems like it's not even there. You mainly get this flavor of this beef, this ground beef, and cheese together with that crunch of the taco shell. It's a good way to eat your vegetables. This can't be that bad. Oh, I guess the good news is that you can't taste the spinach or the vegetables at all. The only thing is that the fish's texture is like really soft and mushy. Reminds me of a wet moth. This dish really reminds me of pizza. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but like, you can really taste the cheese, the cheese really up front. You don't taste much of the tomato, bacon, or any of the meat, besides the cheese. And one thing I really like about this is the crust out here is really crispy. So while it's really soft and like chewy in here, out here you get that nice crunch. Let's see what this is. Hmm. Interesting. You see how the meat just falls right off the bone very easily. I guess it makes these chicken drumsticks easier to eat. Flavor-wise, it just tastes like chicken. Let's try it. Mm. Lots of mayonnaise flavor. I actually did it out, but yeah, it's still really good. The sauce. Found the Beyond Burger. Uh, Would you get a Beyond Burger again? No. Yes. Oh, sorry. I'm so used to this. Cheaper? And I think it tastes better. Oh, but this is a lot of mayonnaise, like Carl Jr. A lot of mayonnaise, oh my gosh. Okay, now try this one. Oh. Oh, yes. It's real meat. Impossible burger. Clearly tastes the difference. This is where I could taste plants a little bit, but I wasn't fully sure. I was like, maybe that's just what Burger King tastes like. I was like, no. But in this one, I would easily tell that was impossible burger. Right if I like better, this one. We must get the reaction. The flavor and tenderness of this works well with the buffalo sauce. Buffalo sauce adds quite a bit of spice to it. Plus, you paint the sauce. I don't know why. Wow. You would taste a lot of cheese flavor with this one. Parmesan? Yeah. Oh, a lot of Parmesan flavor. That cheese flavor really 
seems to just I like it. But just the others I feel like it might overpower. It overpower because I feel like it really even covers the buffalo sauce. That's how strong it is. But to me, I think it's good because I love Parmesan cheese. Pizza. Again, I said it was hot. Let's try it. Hmm. Wow. I don't know if you can hear that, but the edge is really crispy. I don't really get that microwave pizza vibe. This is microwave pizza about a lot of cheese and tomato, that flavor. The crust is crispy all around. And the inside is soft, which is good. It's only like a cheese pizza. If you like pepperoni, this is good for you too. A bit overdone. Why don't you just put it in the air fryer for this time? Press the struts. <laughs> I like the bacon. I don't even know what Brussels sauce are supposed to taste like, honestly. Yeah, cheese cheese would have definitely help. I like like the like how you do the broccoli. Just put it on top. I mean cheese would make it much better. I like the bacon part again. <laughs> Bacon's the best part. Four out of five. Three or five. What? Tofu and carrots. It was tofu and carrot, both soft. Mm -hmm. How do you describe the flavor? Watered down? It's a light flavor. Exactly, light, bland. Those are just really crunchy. Oh, and celery too. Crunchy. Tastes like celery. It's like you boiled all these in water and then you drain the water so, all the, so most of the flavors are gone. It's sort of a peanut flavor over the entire thing though. The peanuts are the best part. Oh, wow, what is the best part, Leah? Oh. Peanuts and then more. The vegetables are nice and soft, which is what I like. Because I don't. The carrots are really soft, which is really good. I like this heavy chicken flavor. You don't really taste the vegetables at all. And the crust is soft too, which I like. They still have the crust at the top. The crust is well cooked. You don't even taste the onions either, which is good for me. It's a lot flakier than usual. It tastes good. <laughs> it's a good meal. Mm -hmm. I was like, you don't really taste the vegetables. The crust adds Many like chicken. a sort of salty element. Because mm. I don't think there's any salt. There might, there might be a bit of salt in the row, but the crust adds more flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think the salt too, the flavor. Happy 18th birthday, Teddy. Thank you for all the food you've tasted and reviewed, whether you like the dish or not. Now that you're heading off to college, we might not get to have your honest reviews as often. Hope you enjoy the path laid before you as you make your way into the college life.